Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. Hope you guys are good and fine and healthy and staying safe and whatnot. Uh, I know th these times can be hard and, you know, people have to stay at home. Some of us, I think here in South Africa, same thing. We have to stay at home. Uh, we have curfews and things in place. But anyways, we are here on Starbase and uh, I just, I was standing here. Okay, and I was just like looking around, waiting for the perfect time to um, do the intro and whatnot. Then I've noticed like this guy looks like he's bonking that guy on the head. <laughs> See that? Basically, it's just an overlap. But yeah, it looks like he keeps bonking that dude. Like, bonk. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to go to the marketplace, which is if we, st we start there with Origin, come down the ramps, and then I think down here, it's... For me, the space stations but not looks really cool, the stations. It's just a little bit confusing with all of these exposed beams and whatnot, where to go exactly. Um, but these walkways, I mean, yeah, sure, there are walkways you can walk or run, uh, which is, it's fine. But if you guys remember, like, in Mass Effect, like, the Citadel and things you visit, do visit, the shops, like, they they are distinct, you know, like, you know where to go, you know how it looks like, that kind of stuff. Um, so... It would be nice if this... I would feel... May, maybe they want to keep it open air and not enclosed. Um, which is fine. It's fine. You know? Uh, it's just... I wish there was like... It was a little bit more intuitive. I don't know. But if this is how the game's going to be... Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to complain too much. You know? It's a, uh, it's fine as is. Fine as is. It's just a little bit confusing for me. And I mean, it, it did show to me like... Listen, this way is the marketplace... And this just keeps saying refill. So that's kind of what I'm pointing at. You know, it's like, where the hell am I supposed to go? Because these are refilling stations. These are like new things they've added, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the, yeah, the refueling of the ships and whatnot. In the previous, I see, like I said, in other episodes, I've seen people with ships and they were talking about they cannot refill refuel you have to go buy new fuel tanks and things in order to refuel your ship and then you have to manually take out the tank add a new one in and sell off the old one so yeah that's that's kind of what's what you had to do in the previous times oh the music so cool uh, but now there are refueling stations and it's just like a normal petrol station or gas station for those in the United States and Canada. Um, the petrol stations. You park there, you... See, in South Africa it works. Okay, we have petrol jockeys. What they do is you pull up on, in, into a petrol station or a garage and gas station. And they would, you just tell them like, listen, give me a hundred dollars worth of fuel or something. And then they would go ahead and I would listen, a hundred dollars is like a ton of fuel. I know. But you say like ten dollars and then they would add ten dollars. You just give them the money and then you just drive off. In the United States, I know you have to go and do everything yourself. And this is that model, the refueling station. It's the same model as what you use in the US. Where you stop and just refuel yourself and pay for it later. So, yeah. Right, so this is the shops, as far as I know. This is the marketplace. Um, so, lots of bolts and things. This is the very first time I've been here. Uh, Sunny Ship Center, upstairs. Oh. All the pieces. Uh-huh. Alright, so let's go up here. Purple brick resources. That's actually pretty cool. Um, elevator hall. Let's go over here. You know, I've, I've never been here. I want to explore and see if we cannot learn the things in our own way. So, yeah, these are gun turrets, station, like stationary um, uh, points, uh, bases, weapon base. And you plop down a thing, a weapon base thingy. Listen, I'm going to learn these things eventually, all right? Eventually, but just give me a moment. Uh, and then you attach weapons to these, and then these things, they rotate, these bases. So, yeah. Uh, as we can see over here, these are battery banks. Batteries, YOLO. Oh, no, not these. these I, I don't know. Uh, YOLO is the programming language they use. They, I think you buy these things. Um, which you can do that. I don't know if you can uh, lock it. Yeah, there we go. Um... You cannot really... I, I wish I could show you guys on this side, but they're showing the back side of them. 
and those things slot into these guys this is a two slotter this one is three slots this thing slots into that and then you have your power connection going out and i think this is a single slot it looks like it i don't i don't know i don't know all right um yeah well that is a single slot one i don't know I, it's like this is all new to me i'm just trying to understand what's going on um, oh yeah here's the rotating base in itself i wish there was like a, maybe a floodlight shining onto these guys which would be pretty cool and this is like off center uh -huh. whoever put that inventory there should be fired um uh, so yeah this is a hard point kind of thing uh yeah this is pretty cool stuff and i like how they exhibit all the things um this is a corner thruster if i'm not mistaken uh that's a fuel rod um or core or something yeah these are different not plates but um hard points that's what i called this one takes in pipes and electrical cable and piping and that's that here is another corner piece of a thruster uh, the, these two things, I think, slot into this or the rest of it. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Um, I think this is a flight computer. A flight comp computing unit or something, FCU. Um, that, that looks like a very grand PC, but uh, I think this is a battery. This is a battery. It's got a bar over there. And you have to just to connect it to your network of your ship. And these are these are flight control these are the flight management flight management thingy tangies. Um and there are different variations as we can see with the colors. Um each are a bit more complicated to use than others. So yeah, here are the seats. Oh look at it. listen, more music. Ah. So yeah, these are seats. Um know what this is. Never seen it. Uh, yeah, but yeah. These are seats. We can sit on it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I think there are different variations of them. As we can see, this one doesn't really have armrests where that one does. Um, oh, yeah, this is a panel you attach and then you put your buttons and sliders and things on this. Which is really cool. Um, over here is the... Uh, this is a small fuel tank, this is a, a medium one, and this is a large one, I think. Yeah, three different fuel tanks. Um, these are... I call them beacons, but they're not really beacons, they're transponders, isn't they? These are probably just transponders. They, like, map out the area for you and tell you what's around. Um, oh, we can sit here. Nice. Oh, yes. This is what I got, what, uh... Yeah, look at this, look at this. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> it's, it's too bad our backpack is slipping through that, but since when do robots need to take a break, you know? Uh, let me just go ahead and zoom back in. And then if you're wondering, okay, how do we buy these things? Can we, are we, do we just pick them up and, you know, plop them into our ship? No, 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 no. You have to come over here. Um, these are like your... Uh, your things uh, for your ship, ship parts like that is a curved window that looks like that. Um, it's 120 by 120 by 96. <laughs> if that was 69, noise. Uh, 96 centimeters and 32,000 credits for those. This is a bigger one for 48. Um, this is a different shape one. Same dimensions as the top one, but different shapes. So yeah, this is this is pretty much we buy your things like windows, uh, decorative angled corner plates. Oh, so these are your plates, decorative columns, uh, these sort of things where you want to do things. There's a rail. There's rails which you can attach stuff to it and it moves back and forth. You can add add, add a door or make a door. You just add a, a flat piece on top of that program a button or something to slide it back and forth uh so yeah that uh, this is what this is over here we have beams the beams you're gonna use like there's curved beams and angled beams 
uh, T-sections, beam corners, uh, quad connections, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, sextant connections, uh, I can't remember, pentagon, I know is five, a penta is five, octa is eight, and between, I don't know. And yeah, so these are different plates, beams, straights. Uh, so yeah, this, that's pretty cool. And this is where you get your things. Um, let's continue on, look around, you know, let's see what else there is. Um, so, I guess over here, this is if we come in here. Um, yeah, we get in here. This is not a spawn point. Let's quickly see if we can grab the um, spawn point over here. Here we go, and find. Here we go. We are at the marketplace. We got the marketplace over here now, so I can fast travel between here and the um, uh, the uh, the things, the, the place. So over here is our inventory systems and whatnot. Uh, we have do we have a mining backpack on us. So this is our storage. This is our ship storage, and this is the equipment we have. So this is our kind of uh, uh, thing, and uh, those are our credits on top. We can go ahead and search. I like that you can do this and type in. Oh, like you can still do that and type in hello and we'll look for hello in the uh, the list i think over here what does this say equipment storage equipment oh wait this is our our equipment so this is our mining backpack so we actually start with mining backpack okay that's interesting so this is on our person and this is the storage and then same thing over here. So I think if this area gets too full of people, then there's also this part. So yeah, and then you can just sell the things. I think if you collect ores, like you go out mining, you come back, and then you just go ahead and sell. Um, so that is something. So frames, fuel, ammo, electricity. There must be Elon Musk must be around here. So electricity resource. Ah. Why? <laughs> I just bought electricity, you guys. Um, I don't think I don't think our endos require electricity or anything to work. They are endless, endless supply. Furnish your space. All right. So station decor. Oh, so you, you buy decor for your station? Yeah, I think you could build your own stations and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Um, I want to dabble into it. That thing is missing text up there, so I will buy blank. Big, big, give me blank. I'm not gonna buy anything, otherwise <laughs> I'll eat up all our funds. We have to go do a mining run at some point, uh, see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, these are decors for stations and whatnot. Not too pricey though, but I mean, a station can be huge, huge. Is this the same thing? Base beam at the top. Let's scroll back to the well, top. And base beam 90, 50, 19, 54. Yeah, that's the same stuff. Okay, office supplies. Where can I buy my stapler? Where's my stapler? Or where was it? Letter opener. I want to buy a letter opener. Sorry, guys, if you can hear my uh, cell phone over there. I'm just getting messages from family members. Um. Yeah, okay, so let's just continue on with this. Uh, so these are office supplies. I don't know what else, like office supplies. And then we can buy more corners and beams and things. So, yeah, it's not really optimized. It's basically all of the same stuff. Um, oh, it's station supplies, station plates. Still the same stuff. There's no plants or anything. You can get, like, why would robots want plants? To remind us of a better Earth. Uh, let's go. Okay, so that's nothing over there. Nothing. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, still the same crap. Uh, the best office equipment available. Okay, so this is just office things, which is cool. Uh, here's Bolt. You guys recognize that logo? It is from Bolt Cutters, the YouTube series on Frozen Bytes. Um, oh, by the way, the developers of Frozen Bytes. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Uh, but yeah, Frozen Bytes. Uh, they have a small series running called Bolt Crackers, where they test various things. Uh, but I think it's the players that test things in here, and then they, they just recreate, recreate it in a more cinematic way. So over here, we can buy a large backpack. We can buy a mining pickaxe. And you know what? We should go ahead and do that, because uh, just give it to me in my inventory. There we go. Uh, and we can 
drag that. So we we have one electricity. We have one electricity in our backpack. Uh, and a mining backpack, I think you use obviously for mining, but you have to attach it to your ship, and then that should suck up whatever you are uh, smashing. Okay, so yeah, this is all the same stuffs. Back alley, so that was back alley office supplies. Oh, they should have remained that like back alley office supplies. Get your <laughs> back alley supplies here. All right, so let's go up one more level and see what there is. Um, there's. Uh, I think this is a Vasama or something. I don't know. It's a ship. All right. Uh, let's go over here. Ships just for you. I think you buy ships here. Yeah. Purple brick. Oh, look at the purple. Wow, I like this. There's all this. This is pretty cool. So what can we buy here? Absolutely nothing. There's nothing here. All right. What's down here? Uh, we will check it out in a second. A mag. These are probably weapons? Oh, there's no doors. Man, they should be cool if there were doors which you open up and close. Auction. Oh, I think I've read about this. There's auctions and things. But, oh yeah. So, kite over here is a... Uh, we buy your armor pieces and whatnot. So, if we look at our character. This is the armor piece we're wearing. It doesn't look really look like anything. It looks, I think this is just plain civilian. So, but we can get armor pieces we can attach to ourselves. Yeah, different pieces of armor. Uh, this is called the Viper. Uh, it looks like little snake eyes or snake bites. You know, snake teeth. And I think that's why it's called Viper. The Dreadnought, which looks heavy militarized. Oh, I like this. I like this. You guys, let me know in the comment section which one would you like. So, uh, let's go over here. The Bastion, which looks nice. Really cool name. Uh, it's got that head over there. Um, let's go over here to the Bulwark, which is this guy. Which has that sort of head. It looks like a light armor. Yes, that's a light armor. We have the Dreadnought over here, which I really, really like. Um, so these are just the armor pieces out here on display. We have the Viper. It looks really cool. We have the Steadfast. Also looks like a light-ish armor. Uh, let's see over here is the serpentine serpentine which is this I mean those are kind of look like ears on the sides but I'm not really keen on it not my style but hey you guys are the ultimate ones to tell us uh, tell me what uh, what I should wear you know what would be cool if I can have this head with this with this body you know or maybe that head of this body so it looks a bit more um mean or maybe this head i mean they're all good but i think i would like that head with this one so if we take a look so this is the civilian hips and chests and things experiment infantry orderly pioneer red ruffian toxin Okay, so I don't know. Uh, another menu or something? Because it says, like, if we can buy this on bulk, or not bulk, but like in one piece, one piece armor set, that'd be cool. But yeah, I, I, you could probably look at the uh, picture, you know? But you know what? We will go mining, get some credits. I'm getting drunk of that monitor, standing too close of it. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but it happens to me. Like, something scrolls like that. I'm just like, ugh. Uh, but yeah, open auction house. Now I'm not going to open anything. I think that opens it. So now we're going to stay away from that. But there is an auction in this game, apparently. Let's see what is over here. The guns. Oh my goodness, we found the guns. Gun shop. Okay, so we got a red oh a pioneer <laughs> red pistol. I was ready reading the next one. Pioneer pistol, red. Brigand revolver. We got a ruffian pistol, toxin laser, and a toxin long rifle. Um, all right, that's pretty cool. All right, uh, it's actually pretty cool weapons. We can check them out over here. You know, a normal assault-ish rifle. Oh yeah, this thing. Its magazine is insane. Look at that. 
I think it uses if we like three six nine, so it uses nine slots, and then it goes down another nine, it goes down another nine. That's actually pretty pretty cool. Uh, this looks more like my weapon because it looks like the magazine fires consecutive shots. I don't know. For me, I kind of like assault rifles and shotguns. That's kind of that's kind of my vibe, you know. Anti gel gun. Okay, there we go. That's an assault rifle. Uh, I wouldn't mind battle rifle. Okay, bolter gun. Gauss rifle. I think that's a sniper rifle-ish. A Gauss rifle, like a rail gun. Grenade launcher. Laser rifle, long rifle. Pistol, plasma rifle, rail gun. Oh, there's a rail gun. What's a Gauss one then? Repeater pistol, revolver, rocket launcher. And why is that thing so expensive? And the whiplash. And there's a shotgun. I would, I'm very tempted screw it that we, we we're buying it in our storage uh inventory please okay, buy one there we go oh yes i forgot we have to get ourselves uh ammunition which is just back here it's kind of in unintuitive for me like here's the you know it would, it would be good if you ha move this screen onto the one side and then the other side you have your uh ammo you know or maybe in one shop, all the ammos and whatnot. Oh, wait. This is not ammo. Where's the ammo? Over here. Oh, okay, okay. No, uh, uh, my bad, my bad. So you can buy your guns here, and then you buy your ammo over here. Uh, I thought you had to go around the back. I saw a YouTube video about it. And I was like, what? Really? Why? Uh, shotgun magazine. So, go to inventory. I think this is one mag, one round. So... Let's buy, I don't know, 20? Can we afford 20? How about 50? Yeah, let's buy 50. Oops. And there we go. Oh, wow. So this is all in our backpack. Oops. I don't mean to. Alright. That is pretty cool. Okay, so it's in sevens. So you'll... Okay, okay. That is interesting. So, oh, these don't stack. What the hell? All right, let's just go ahead and do this. I will keep a bunch on me, though. Maybe just one row of them, like so. And then an extra in the chamber. All right, that's pretty cool. We, we've got a gun, guys. Uh, and I think we have to do that. There we go. Right, so that is pretty amazing. Yes, it is quite amazing. And oh, and I pressed O. This is open up your groups, friends, team, friends, company inbox. Uh, ignore it, lots. <laughs> ignore it. Yeah, ignore it. So this is in the zone. This is the people that are close by. Lori, I think, is the person that is part of uh, Frozen Byte. It's one of the developers, which is nice, I guess. Uh, oh, there we go. There we can see the name. Hello, Lori. And by the way, lorry in South Africa is truck. <laughs> That's what we call it the lorry. All right. I think the people in the UK would also um, know about that. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, what is our timer at? About 23 minutes. Uh, is this all? Is that all there is? So we saw ship parts. Where is the gun guns? Uh not not guns like we just bought. Um uh what do you call it? The uh I can't remember now. Uh, the ship weapons themselves. You guys know what I mean. Mag. It should be Here it is! Oh, Right, so this should be the last stop for this video. And I think we found almost everything because then it's the weapons for the ships. Then there is the armor pieces for ourselves, the guns for ourselves, and then ship building and station building. So I think that's about, that covers it. So yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so you can have this sort of setup as well. Sit in a seat like this. And then we, we cannot remove because there's no interface. But yeah, you can build a ship with a seat like this and have, I think that's a railgun. The little dots over there is a, this is a railgun. 
really deadly accurate decent damage black cannons really really cool um here's the rail gun like i mentioned so i was thinking with our ship well my fighter i want to build big fighter is having these flak cannons maybe on the sides uh for one person to use a rail gun for our own use um these plasmas also for our own use but uh like i will see if, I, if we cannot like i'm talking about long term now like i have to figure out like how the things work um but maybe push a button which switches from uh, long range rail cannons to medium short range plasmas uh which we can just follow and shoot and um i think there are other things oh, so this is the a fully built flat cannon as we can see it's in pieces so you buy this piece you buy this piece you buy these pieces these are like the ammo that's the chamber and those are the actual firing pieces themselves uh muzzles 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 um barrels i think that's what we call it and also you can add armor to these guys like this which is pretty awesome they look really cool like really really cool um and this as well and i think over here we can see the different pieces so these are ammo barrels and things um attachments yeah these are basically the ammo barrels why am i getting these lag spikes like that seriously and over here as you can see one auto cannon magazine 117 one laser cannon uh what is the rail cannon 141,000 units let's look let's look i can i can afford one i can shoot once <laughs> uh, i don't think i think a whole magazine is a couple of rounds though but rail cannons and the, these weapons they drain energy so you have to make sure your weapon or your ship has a lot of energy uh regeneration or something like that and uh yeah so you buy your ammos over here and then over here is the actual actual um weapon parts like uh the auto cannon barrel structure and structure mirror ah uh the cannon cannon barrel structure there is the laser disc oh this is this is the thing the thing that uh you can yeah it's pretty cool uh missile high explosive warhead it's corrosive jam damage uh missile impact fuse oh missile launcher there's nine slots okay so i'm in the, the build where they've just introduced missiles i remember there was like uh some time ago end of last year or so they said uh, there weren't any missiles they were still testing it but looks like i'm now in the part where they just added missiles missiles and torpedoes yeah torpedoes uh so i can buy these things if i really want to uh but we're not at the ship building phase yet there's still lots to do in this game and uh yeah so these are the, like the barrels themselves but anyways people i think this is going to be end of, of this episode i am sweating where i'm sitting right now um it's very hot today I think if you know Celsius, it's 40, 43, 34 degrees Celsius today in South Africa. So I'm just putting that out. It is really, really hot here. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off right here. And next episode, I think we should go and do some mining or whatnot. Uh, yeah, I did some modifications to our little ship we got at the mining job or the uh, tutorial. They gave us that ship. I did some tweaking on it with our little. Uh, user interface over here a wristwatch and i tweaked a couple of things so that it steers a little bit better anyways people i think that's it thanks so much for joining me here on starbase hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and i see you guys next time bye bye